Here's a multiple choice question out of the uh, AP Calculus AB uh, workbook. So we're going to find the range of an absolute value function on a closed interval. So here we're asked to find the range of f of x is equal to 2 times the absolute value of x minus 2, quantity minus 2, on the open interval, and this says 0 to 5. So this is a little bit misleading, because look what this graph looks like for a second. Here's what this graph looks like. Remember that we have a times x minus h plus k. And we know that the vertex, this is really, really important, the vertex is equal to h, k. When we're looking for that h value, we're saying what number makes this piece in here equal 0. So we're saying what makes this equal 0. So what makes this equal 0 is 2, isn't it? So we have h, we have the point 2, and this is f of 2. So 2 minus 2 is 0. Absolute value of 0 is 0. 2 times 0 is 0. Minus 2 is negative 2. So we hit the point 2, sorry, the point 2, negative 2. We also know that if this a value is positive, that this thing is, it opens up like this, doesn't it? So we know now that this is its minimum value, and it happens on our interval because, right, the point the x value 2 is inside this interval, right? It's between 0 and 5. So this is our minimum value here, right? So we know that y is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. How do we know that? Because we know for a fact, as we look at this graph here, the height never gets lower than negative 2, right? So this is the interval we're looking at from, right? If you think about it, we're looking at the interval from here so maybe here, right? Right. This is, this is x is zero, x is five. We want to know what's the high, what are the highest and lowest points here? Where the lowest point is this one right here. And if we look, the highest point is going to be here. So what's f of five? So f of five is equal to two times the absolute value of five minus two minus two. Five minus two is three. The absolute value of three is three. Two times 3 is 6, right? 6 minus 2 is 4. So this is the point 5, 4. So the range, right? The range, right? Remember, range tells us what are the, what are the possible heights, what are the limits of the heights. Well, the heights are y will be, the height will be greater than or equal to negative 2, and it will be less than or equal to 4, all right? So what I found with a lot of you, I was hearing from you, you were saying, oh, well, I, I evaluated that f of 0. Well, that's, I get why you would do that, but if you look at f of 0 right here, f of 0 is not the minimum height, right? It's not the minimum height at all here, is it? Okay, so something to think about, something to think about. I hope this was helpful.